the module that we are going to talk about is uh, the box. The box is made out of five components. Uh, this is basically plywood, the top, the bottom, sides and the back which is at the end of the thing. Uh, this is how uh, you make a box and the kitchen is made out of many of these modules of different sizes. The box is made on minifix to make sure that there are no screws and the screws do not lead to un uh, to bad alignment among the boxes and gaps in between. You can see the minifixes over here. The box is made out of uh, plywood, laminated plywood. Uh, they are made on minifix as you can see. The minifix uh, add to the strength of the box a lot. These minifix has been, have been tested. We've made these box. We've thrown these boxes off from third floor and they have not come off. So they actually add uh, to the strength of the box quite a lot. The back is made out of waterproof, termite proof and fireproof material which is bakelite. Uh, sometimes you also use WPC and this makes sure that the box is very much termite resistant, uh, is not spoiled easily from water flows from the back. The box is easily installed, is installed on ABS legs from the bottom so the box is not touching the ground also. So if there is water seepage of any kind on the bottom on the floor the box does not get damaged from it also this makes sure that the life the life of the box is very high because we use a uh, high grade uh, plywood the strength of the box is very high the screw holding is very good uh, which makes sure that all kinds of uh, accessories and hardware that you use uh, like channels pull down fittings pantry pull outs drawers hinges they have a very long life, they do not come off easily and high amounts of load can be put into them and be used regularly. This is the key to a long lasting kitchen. Without this kind of a formation, uh, you end up having a lot of negative uh, implications or negative consequences that might occur in your kitchen over the period of time. If you do not have them on minifix, over the period of time, uh, there are gaps between them, uh, plus uh, the, the screws might come off if you do not have minifix, if you are uh, using screws in it, as well as the screws might lead to unalignment of various boxes. If you keep them together, there might be small gaps that tend to appear. If you do not use uh, termite proof, uh, waterproof material on the back, uh, the entire box generally becomes very susceptible to all kinds of uh, termite and water problems because most of these originate from uh, water flows in the wall uh, as well as termite also generally infestates from the wall into the cabinets so having this kind of a barrier which is termite proof at the back make sure that your box has a very high life also if you do not use a decent ply or if you try to cut corners some people they don't use uh, the top ply, for example, uh, because they are like it gets covered. Uh, or sometimes people don't use the bottom ply also because they are like it does not. People are not able to see it much. Uh, the drawers can be still used easily, uh, but that leads to all kinds of problems because these leads to gaps. The gaps which can be uh, easily infested by pests and cockroaches which people then later uh, suffer in the kitchens. Thank you for watching the videos guys. If you like it, do subscribe, share it with other people who are making their homes, who feel like, who you feel require this information to make a good model of kitchen and it might help them with their interiors that they'll be doing. Uh, you can find all the information that we've said in a blog format right below. Visit our website for more information. You can go to our Facebook page where you can see the kinds of work that we've done and various services that we offer. And uh, do comment and share. Thank you.